Hi there Leo, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your intuitive tarot reading for work and money for June 2020. So I'm going to give these right away it's a really good shuffle and when the first one falls that's my indication to you stop and pull the cards. Starting with an overarching energy for work and money and then some specific cards for your work, job, career situation and your financial situation. So let's see what comes out. Overarching energy please for Leo. Work and money for June. There's a stack, but the Queen of Cups was the card out. Interesting. Okay, maybe, you know, taking a mature uh, approach to your work and money, you know, really understanding that you have the gifts within you to really, um, you know, advance. Uh, you could be stepping into leadership energy with the queen as well. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, the empress, beautiful. She can definitely help you deliver on any projects or ideas that you have been, um, you know, you have kind of been materializing. She's the one that can actually bring it into the material realm. Hi, Priestess. My goodness, Leo, this is all these divine feminine characters here. We have the Eight of Wands, which can be swift change. It's over in the financial sector. And we have all oh, the Ten of Cups. Okay, that's looking very good over there. Let's get your clarifiers. It'll be interesting to see how this picture comes together. Definitely a, a big pull on intuition following your gut this month when it comes to work and man uh, finance decisions. Clarify that Empress. It'll be time to get an idea off the ground. Six of Cups, okay, coming into a place of balance in the workplace. Maybe receiving, starting to receive the recognition, the monetary rewards for the efforts that you've put in. Let's clarify that High Priestess. There it goes. Ace of Crystals. Beautiful. Okay, that is pretty much the uh, one of the finance cards here. Yeah, that's the Ace of Pentacles, guys. It could be a new opportunity coming in for you, a new way to make money, um, a new career direction, something like that. And, you know, it could come through some kind of intuitive insight that you've had with that High Priestess energy. Let's um, get a couple more for your money area over there. Leo, June 2020, finance, Leo, oh, a lot of energy, but that's going on the ground, so we don't have those, too many, finance, Leo, June 2020, finance, Leo, Alright, we've got two. Okay, oh, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, Leo. I love that. Luck change. And the Ten of Swords, that's come out um, for a couple of different readings in the finance sector. And it came out for another sign, I can't remember which one, but with the Ten of Pentacles. So there's a sense of, um, you know, maybe a hardship ending in the financial sector, that luck is going to change with the Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the Ten of Cups, which is, you know, being fulfilled with your finance. We have another indicator of swift change here. So that's really interesting. Um, I'm actually going to pull a clarifier for that Queen of Cups overarching energy as well. I do think that's really sort of saying that you need to you know, um, be, you know, make good emotional decisions around work and finance this month, you know, and it can also mean not to make emotional decisions when it comes to your spending, you know, to make decisions from a place of fact and logic, seeing how much money you've got in your bank account, um, how much disposable income you've got before you make big decisions on how to purchase. Um, in the workplace, there's a card that's flipped over, but it wasn't our one. Okay, interesting. Oppression, the devil. That's come out a few times in these readings as well. Okay, let me straighten these up there for a moment. Okay, Leo, what I'm seeing here with your overarching energy with the Queen of Cups and the oppression energy or the devil, I feel like some of you in the month of June are going to overcome some of the self-limiting beliefs that you might have about work and career and your finances. You know, there is an opportunity here that is waiting to be birthed um, for you. And I feel like you already know what this is and it's something that you've kind of held in your intuition for a while. But maybe you feel like you couldn't make it happen or you didn't have the skills or 
there was a sense of maybe not being enough, not being good enough, not being smart enough, not having the right tools to make it happen. But I really feel in this month of June, that's when you're really going to move into that emotional place where you kind of conquer this inner demon. I'm really feeling like it is an inner demon. It's not a manipulative energy that you're dealing with in the workplace. There's no other indicators of this here. I think that's within yourself. So you're finally going to let go of that toxic um, thought pattern, um, the limitations that have been holding you back, and really step into queen energy, which is taking a step up into a more mature, you know, dominant authoritarian position. And you're gonna be in control of those emotions that maybe have run a little bit wild in the past. The Queen of Cups is the most the master of self. Uh, of emotional intelligence and she can make those really grounded logical decisions um, about work and finance from a place of intuition and fact but, but not from a place of emotion she can keep those in that cup she can compartmentalize while she's getting things done and then she can come back and process her emotions later so that's what I'm feeling with that energy there um, you know the devil energy too could have been that there might have been um, you know even an issue with um, overspending or uh, you know something like that in the recent past and now you're you know starting to get control over it starting to get control over something that has held you back in that sense of work and money so here in your work cards you have the Empress and the six of cups High Priestess, Ace of Crystals. So I can clearly see that there is a new opportunity here waiting to be birthed for you. Now the Ace of Crystals or Ace of Pentacles can be, you know, money coming in, like a gift of money, a pay rise, something like that. It can also be like a new project, a new job, um, you know, a new, new financial opportunity. And this here I feel is something that has been simmering for a while. I am really feeling that new job or new kind of project coming in because the Empress is the energy who kind of hears your manifestations, hears your desires and then births them into the physical material realm. So I feel like you've been intuitively kind of trying to manifest something or get something off the ground for a while but it's remained um, an idea um, you know a pie in the sky kind of thing and now you kind of think you know what I really feel that I'm in the place to make this happen because the High Priestess is also a very intuitive energy you know it can be very creative our intuition as well um, there might have been something with the High Priestess this could be tapping into this kind of uh, devil energy here you know the High Priestess can be bringing to light what has held you back so now you can actually birth this that now you can actually get on and create this because the High Priestess can reveal um, information or you know the mysteries or the subconscious beliefs and thoughts from our shadow side as well like she's literally been to hell and back this energy so she could be the one that brings to light whatever it was that self-limiting belief and then you have the opportunity to to master it to overcome it and that's when you know you can then make things happen when you don't have those things holding you back anymore and the six of cups here you know it's really talking about coming into a, a balanced place you know coming out of that sense of lack um, of not having enough not being good enough all those things that i said before this is where those karmic scales start to to balance and you're moving into a place of receivership and you're moving into a place of greater abundance and greater fulfillment as well and it's kind of like you know reaching that sort of alchemical point where everything starts to move and you start getting back in flow again and that's when you know you really start to call in the success call in the achievement so whatever that idea is um, you know if there's something you've been wanting to get off the ground this is a great month to make it happen or you know it could be that an opportunity gets offered uh, to you and um, I think if it does it's going to be something that feels very in alignment with you with the high priestess and the empress um, it's going to feel very aligned with your values and your cycles and maybe really connected with that that divine feminine energy as well um, for some of you you might be you know in the workplace there might be um, some really strong female leaders as well that maybe um, offer you something like a promotion or a step up or more responsibility or something. I feel that um, you're going to be surrounded by surrounded by very nurturing energy in the workplace. Um, other female colleagues, or it doesn't have to be female, sorry, it could be male colleagues as well that are really in touch with their divine feminine. Um, I feel like you're going to have a, a balanced work life in terms of it's not going to be 
um, too stressful. I think there's going to be space to, to, to pause, to create, to, to feel into things as well. So it's looking really, really good. And it's coming after a time though when you have let go of, of some, some limiting beliefs. So it's good to, to see that energy. Leo, over here in your money sector, we have swift change and that could be because you're moving out of this um, toxic energy of the devil that is what that ten of swords links to it's the end of something and that could have been like i said just that self-limiting belief that may have been holding you back from going for a pay rise or promotion or um, holding you back from you know your full earning potential going after the jobs and opportunities that can really deliver for you or there could have been um, a debt that you are uh, just paying off you're just completing as well um, I feel like there is a sense of something being over in terms of the finance sector and now that wheel of fortune can shift and you're shifting into a time of much better luck financially and I think it's going to be a swift change with that eight of wands eight of wands is again sort of that um, element of divinity of destiny of this is your time to, to get it all together and succeed and with that you know beautiful ten of cups energy I really feel that you know this could be the start of you having the financial resources that you need to finally build build that home life or that best life that you really desire. Because even though the Ten of Cups is a is a cups energy, it's like you know sometimes to reach that level of emotional fulfillment, joy, love, harmony, and times with our families, like we need money, right? You know, money isn't everything, but if it affords us freedom, it affords us time to spend with you with children and go on holidays or um, you know take some time out of work and that kind of thing so that's what's where it's saying it's heading is it's heading to a greater sense of f uh, freedom and fulfillment um, and it's because you know you're starting to release yourself from what has held you back and that could have been an overspending habit it could have been a debt that you're paying off um, it could have just been like I said your self-limiting beliefs that were um, holding you back in terms of um, getting out there and, and asking for what you're worth maybe some of you have wanted to ask for a pay rise and um, you know you weren't able to uh, but now you're kind of moving into this sort of boss energy under this queen of cups and I think that you're gonna go for it you're really gonna go for it and if you are asking for a pay rise or something like that, I feel like you're in a good position while you're surrounded by this beautiful divine, divine feminine energy. It's not going to come across as being, you know, like a big ask or aggressive in any way. I think it's going to, the, any messages that you need to deliver like that this, this month are going to be well received and they're going to be um, well, uh, well communicated by you. Okay, Leo, I am going to leave it there. It's looking really positive for you. Um, so I wish you all the best with it. Do have a good month in work and finance. Keep in mind I'm reading for a collective. It might not be everyone's reading and that's okay. It might be yours next month. Um, leave me a comment and see, let me know how it resonates. I do try and reply to them all. I do read them all. Helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energies. And I'll see you back here throughout the month for plenty more readings.